We're the Kiapa sisters and we hate being on a tourist trail. So we've made this backstreet guide to show you some quirky independent places to stay, the back alley restaurants that you won't find on a tourist map, and the real places where the locals go to let their hair down. Emmy's going to show you where to eat, Romina's going to show you where to drink, and I'm going to show you where to sleep. This is how to eat, drink, sleep like an Italian. Trattoria da Marisa. If you want the best authentic Italian meal in Venice, this is where you have to go. You've got the mother and daughter in the kitchen, no glitz and glam, but you can eat like a king here for as little as only 10 euros a head. Menu del lavoro, this is your workman's lunch. You've got two to three courses. You can have pasta, meat, a side, wine and coffee. What more could you want? Marisa and her granddaughter go out every morning to source the freshest ingredients, so it's constantly changing. You're on the canals, but not just any canals, one of the canals tucked away from all the hustle and bustle of the busy tourist parts of Venice. It is just tranquil and beautiful. It's not easy to find in Venice, but here you're gonna feel just like a local. Darioba and Paradiso Perduto. When you come to Venice, you have to eat some fresh fish and this is where you should do it. You've got two great restaurants side by side here. Paradiso Perduto, it's lively, it's buzzing, got some great atmosphere. The other one, Darioba, is a bit more expensive, but here you can really sit back, relax and just soak up the beautiful surroundings. Trattoria La Madonna. You walk into the restaurant and you're greeted by this massive fresh fish counter. You've got crab, lobster, any fish you could imagine. And the best thing is, it's bought from the local market daily and cooked fresh to order. Al Timon. So the coolest thing about this bar is that it's got a boat moored right outside of its doors. There's not a better way for you guys to sit on the Venetian waters and enjoy a really good Aperol spritz. Timon attracts fashionable Venetians and really young hip students. And if you strike it lucky, you might even hear an impromptu jazz concert right there on the boat. Only minutes from the Grand Canale, it's got that authentic Venetian experience, but without the gaggle of tourists. And to top it off, it's got some of the best homemade chiquiti for you to enjoy. Airustegi. So this is a real hidden Venetian gem. You might feel as if you're lost on your way there, but keep going. Because what happens is you'll walk into this private little courtyard, candle it intimacy, and you can enjoy over 780 different types of wines. There's no fixed menu, and all the ingredients come from all the best suppliers around Italy. And the best thing about it, every meat and cheese is cut by hand purely for you. Airo Stegi has been in Giovanni's family for over five generations, and he knows every single wine right there, giving you the most personal and authentic experience. Some say Venice can be a little sleepy at night, but if you want some vita italiana and a bit of atmosphere, then head to Campo Santa Margherita. One of the best bars on this square is La Bifora. This bar is full of life, and if you want that true Italian piazza experience, then definitely head here. This candle-lit medieval tavern is the perfect place to grab a big bunch of mates together, sit round the large wooden tables and drink the night away until 2 a.m. La Bifora is also known for its food. They do these amazing big food platters of meat, fish or veg for only 20 euros. Cima Rosa, absolutely perfect location where the rooms literally overlook the Grand Canal and yet it's located in a really quiet, leafy courtyard. This old palazzo has been restored to the highest standards and each room is like its own little honeymoon suite and they'll even serve you breakfast in bed so you can open your windows right onto the Grand Canal. While these rooms can be quite pricey at high season, if you come in the low season, you can score one of these gems for as little as 160 euros a night. Generator Hostel, on one of the best views in Venice, nestled between the Cipriani Hotel and the Hilton, you will never believe you can score one of these rooms for as little as 20 euros a night. You have to get a boat to it, but it's well worth the journey. All right, think Chesterfield sofas, a super trendy bar, and loads of original art. 
This is one of the coolest places to hang out in Venice. The suites are really decent size and you can have them for a family so they can have four beds in them with really large bathrooms. But then the shared rooms are super cool. Trendy bunks with their own private storage unit and they've even got private safety screens. Jean and Jean. If you want somewhere that's really central to all of Venice's tourist hotspots, this one's for you. This little bed and breakfast has its own personal concierge. The two owners, Jo and Jo, literally come and collect you from the boat when you arrive and carry your luggage to your hotel room. They'll tell you the places to go, but more importantly, the places not to go. So the three rooms that come off this lovely central living area that you can chill out in have all got their unique styles. But there's one little room which apparently the honeymooners love because it's got its own little private fireplace and it's just a little bit special if you want that romantic getaway. For more details and info about any of the places in this video, just click on the link to our website and visit the travel section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel videos and recipe videos coming soon. Give us your thoughts in the comments box below and let us know if you know any amazing places we should visit.